Well, hello there. Uh, today, we're going to do something I don't like to do, which is connect to a Windows server that we create in, a, uh, in AWS. So uh, let's first create a new key, because I do not want to use my normal one. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to put a password on it. Uh, in fact, since I'm going to delete this at the end of this video, I'll just show it to you. Uh, more Windows RSA. Here's my private key. Uh, that's like a key that you use for a lock. Uh, more Windows dot pub. Here is my public key. That is like the the lock that you actually install. So you use your key to get into it. Okay. So um, uh, let's see. So ls Windows star. So I have my private key and my public key. Sweet. Uh, and I put them in my home directory and you'll see why. Um, okay, so I have those. Now let's launch an instance. Oh, before I launch an instance, I need to go to um, key pairs because I need to add my new key pair and I'm going to just delete um, that one. Okay, so actions import key pair, windows, uh, browse, and so this is in my home directory, and there it knows it's looking for the pub file, select, because that's the only one you should ever give people. That's also why I don't let AWS create it, because if they create it, then they have my private key. So they have my public key now. Great. So EC2 dashboard. I can close that one. Launch an instance. Launch. And let's call this Windows. Okay. And we're going to just select Windows down here. Okay. Uh, come down here. Uh, it's going to be the server base. I mean, you could look at other options. I think they're all server, though. So. Um, someone asked me once if they could do non-server windows and I'm sure you can, uh, but it might be that you have to do the vMotion, a uh, local instance up. So, um, anyway, cause you can do VMware with windows. So instance type, uh, we'll just keep it small key pair. This is where we're doing windows and that should be good. So we'll launch this instance and that's going to take a little bit. So it has to allocate it, set it up and start to boot it. Um, so while that's doing uh, that, why don't we look at my client? So uh, right here, in fact, let's just close that. Um, so RDP. Um, Amazon suggests you try and use the Rumina client. So, uh, that's the one I, uh, I'm using with Fedora. It seems to work fine. Uh, there are other desktop clients, remote desktop clients that you can use. Um, one of the things I don't like about, uh, what we just did, in fact, let's just look at that. What was that one? So if we look at the security, the out, the inbound rules allows um, remote desktop from anywhere in the world. So uh, this has been uh, an issue with Windows computers because they're notorious for having accounts that are not well secured and uh, that causes problems for some reason. Okay, so we can click connect and RDP client right here and download remote desktop file. So this just will make it so I can click and it'll go right in say, hey, this is the certificate for it. Do you want to accept it? Sure. But now I need a password. Okay. This is where I start to get cranky. In fact, I'm just going to say always on top here. Um, so I don't have the password for it. So where do I get the password? Right here. I click get password because Windows for some reason won't use keys. It needs to use keys. And here's where I have to upload my private key um, to decrypt the um, shoot. 
I have to upload my private key to decrypt. I can't see that. That's okay. Um, the password. So I have to upload my private key to Amazon. And then I click decrypt password. And here's the password. So put it here, paste. I can save the password, but honestly, you're going to want to change this anyway. I, I like that at least they're using secure passwords. That's good. Um, oh, shoot. Let's make sure I'm getting the right one. Copy. It does not like something. I wonder if I have an extra space there at the beginning. Oh, let's just click this. So that for some reason when I oh when I double click this it grabs an extra space there so interesting uh, but now I'm connected it's going to take a little while this is the first time it's booting it's not happy um, so while this is setting things up let's come here and let's show you something else that we should do um, in EC2. You actually can come down here and you can say Elastic IPs. And I'm already using this one, so I'm going to um, allocate an Elastic IP address. Grab it from US East 1, um, just from the pool, allocate. Now, the fact that I have this now, I'm getting billed for it. I will get billed for it um, uh, until I associate it to something that's being used. So I'm going to associate this to my Windows that's running, which is going to actually cause my connection to die. So I'm going to close this. Yes. So I'm going to associate this instance. So this is going to be, uh, this will go ahead and change it so that the IP will stay this new IP address. So now if I come back to EC2 dashboard, running instances and here's the windows connect by the way you saw the IP changed RDP client download this this is going to be a different one um, yes accept it because it changed a little bit and I need to get that password again upload private key home windows RSA Secret password. Oh, click here to copy. So I don't do that again. Paste. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it just isn't booted all the way. Maybe it's almost booted all the way, but not quite. And so we just have to wait. Um, so we'll give it a, give it a second. So what I've done though is I've associated an IP address with it. So when it's shut down, it'll come back and have the same IP address. Um, now, that allows us to do some of the things we have been doing outside of the cloud the same way as in the cloud. That's not necessarily a good thing. Um, but uh, it is good to have the flexibility to, to be able to do that. So let's see if it's working now. Yep. Okay. Cool. So yeah, <laughs> networks. Sure, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to delete this system. Um, but hey, what we did is we launched a Windows system with a new private key, which let's just do this while you're here. Remove Windows star. Happy day. So that private key is gone and will never be used again, which also means... I may as well come here and terminate this instance. But 
I'll do that in the next video. Have a good day.